Hello everyone. So on Friday, or wait, Thursday actually, June 1st is going to be Black Music Month and Pride Month as well. So to kick off Black Music Month, I'm going to review the documentary Tina. Um, I'm watching it now. It's really good. I've watched the first hour. And of course, uh, the first two parts are talking about her marriage with Ike. And it made me think like, I'll be honest, I have not watched all of What's Love Got to Do With It. Please don't take away my black card. But it made me think, like, was it really detrimental to her? Because, you know, a lot of times with biopics, every, you know, things get dramatized. And she said that she didn't really like it because it made it look like a victim, you know. And then when the documentary, when she finally left Ike, it was 4th of July. And she said she got her freedom. And, you know, she was so happy about it. Um, but, you know, from the parts of the movie I've seen, like, it's really overdramatic. So it kind of makes me think, like, it kind of, like, overtook her legacy because then people started using it as, like, punchlines and in songs and in skits when it was, you know, it was her real life. She was really being abused. And it made me think, is this just, like, a part of people not really taking domestic violence survivors seriously? Or is this also, like, or is it, like, a Black trauma thing where we take you know our trauma and turn it into something funny when it's really not supposed to be the only other biopic that i can think of where uh it was very over dramatized is mommy dearest and um cindy crawford's daughter who uh the book the movie was based on she did not like it either she was saying it was over dramatized and they added stuff that never even happened so it makes me think, is it the biopics that are detrimental or is it just the mindset of not just black people, but other people who don't take domestic violence survivors seriously? So I just wanted to ponder that, you know, because it's it just keeps happening, especially with black women like Megan Thee Stallion. Drake used her in a line to do like basically discrediting her. And it's just so like frustrating, especially for black women like. We already, I feel like our pain and trauma doesn't get taken seriously as it is. And um, then for people to keep using it over and over again, I couldn't imagine like, you know, Tina Turner having to see the skits and hearing the songs and all these different references to her and making light of her abuse. I feel like that's just really messed up for her. But uh, I'm glad she was able to tell her story. And uh, that was her last... Uh, public appearance was in this documentary and she got to tell her side.